a lovely day in Montreal full of construction again. <laughs> Thank you very much, Master Cool. This is what we call breakfast poutine. So it came with a side of eggs. I don't want eggs on top of my poutine. So instead I just got the eggs on uh, the side, scrambled. I don't know if I'm talking to myself, Juddy. You're here. That means technically I'm talking to you. Ooh, what's this? I want this place. Whatever this is, I want it, Juddy, and it's not open till, for at least like <laughs> five or six hours. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. We got a cup of eggs. <laughs> a good thing. Oh man, it's all saucy. Okay, they gave me a way bigger poutine than I was expecting. I was expecting like this tiny little half cup of poutine for, for $17. Instead it was a massive poutine. Ooh, oh EP, EP, I got you. Okay, you know what? These are probably some of the better best better eggs that I've seen in a very long time. Hey, look at those scrambled eggs. Hey, oop. Trust me when I say the eggs are not blurry, guys. The main event. Alright guys. Look at that. Not bad. No, they're good. Well, they're really good, actually. They're like, um... Very creamy. Very, very creamy. I, I've never... I don't think I've ever had... Like, I don't, I don't want to make... I don't want this stuff to, to, to be like the biggest thing possible, because I don't have that... I don't have eggs that often. So it's not like, oh, these are the most amazing eggs I've ever had, but these are the most amazing eggs I've ever had for the, for the tiny little eggs that I've had. This is a breakfast poutine, as noticed by the breakfast potatoes. I actually am kind of I'm kind of like stoked for this, because I really want like breakfast potatoes. It's sta it's standard bre it's standard gravy. This is a regular gravy, but the only difference is it has a uh, um, breakfast potatoes on it. Let me see if I can grab a quick photo, guys, before I forget. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure this will stop my stream, but hopefully not. And I can grab myself a nice quick photo. Don't mind if you see too much of my crotch, guys. Yeah, there we go. Poutine. So now we can try out this goddamn delicious looking poutine. I gotta try the fries first. Oh no. <laughs> the fry tastes good, but it's way, way too mush. Not firm enough. So unlike pizza, I don't find that you should be judging poutines based on price. Usually, this is not ex this is no exception. A poutine in Montreal is going to run you anywhere from eight eight being very generous. Eight to like thirty dollars, and I, even thirty dollars is a lot, but I can like I've seen thirty. And anywhere between eight and thirty dollars, you should be, you should be, you should be judging the poutine based on, on the same criteria. Because there's no like, I, like, th like even though this is like this is technically supposed to be a better poutine because it's a little more expensive and it's a better place, I don't feel like I should be judging it based on how much it costs in that regard. This is not a five, no. So the smoking's not so the smoking's not bad. They actually grilled it up, which I'm like, okay, you don't really need to grill smoke meat. Smoking's already delicious on its own. But that's their thing. That's fine. But the smoking, the smoking itself is contactness is is important. I'm not gonna deny that. But the issue is like, so unless you're talking about like the cheapest potions you can find. 
which will be like, um, uh, what's it called there? KFC has a Putin. Yeah, that's fair. But like, so like KFC has a Putin. I think their Putin will cost like five bucks, maybe six if oh, with tax or something like that. I might give that a, I might give that a slack, but, but even then, like, you kind of know what you're getting into when you buy that. If the cost is lower, am I more likely to give it more slack? Again, I, I think as soon as, as soon, I think as soon as the pretend costs you more than between eight and ten dollars, like once you get past like nine to nine dollars, I would say is probably the cutting off point right now. You shouldn't be giving a Putin slack. It's also I will say, if we're comparing this to like the Putin from um, that that huge hundred dollar Putin, this is a much better Putin. Like five of these Putins would have been better than the one Putin for a hundred bucks. I, I, I was really happy to get the breakfast potatoes, but now I'm, I don't want to say regretting it as much as like they're not as good as they could have been. I should have been. Part of this was my fault though. I should have been more. I should have been more specific on what I wanted. I should have told them to get me to make the, the um, to make the uh, breakfast potatoes uh, well done so they'd be crispier. It almost tastes like a. It tastes more like a. Uh, a confit potato, for what it's worth, with a little bit of like uh, frying on the side, as it were. Like you can kind of see, like, like the, the fork, the fork easily goes in and out of them. Like, look at this. I, I, I was trying to pick, I was trying to pick one out, and the potato pretty much like died in my hand. So it's just too, it's just too uh, weak, too soft. It's a good breakfast potato, don't get me wrong. Oh. It's soggy. Uh, it's a good breakfast potato. So like, if I was eating, if I was eating breakfast with like bacon and eggs and everything like that, this would probably be, this would be a lot better. To be fair, I would still want it to be more, more well done, because I like crispy potatoes. But this is fine for breakfast. The sauce is really good. I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I, I remember the sauce being hearing a lot worse. I was also expecting about half the size of it for what it, for what I was paying or for, for what I thought it was going to be. Because when you go inside, like that, like the, their regular putins are like this big and about that thick, probably or about that tall. So I thought I was getting that for 17 bucks. For $17, this is a really good price on a Putin, I'll be very honest with you. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the entire thing. But, ooh, I forgot I have eggs. Iron, check out these eggs, man. I will say, like, so far, Johnny, the eggs have been the best part of this meal. <laughs> Who would have thought that, like, Banky's makes great eggs? No, nope. Mmm, that's good. Dum -dum -dum. I would have thought eggs is eggs, too, but, man, these are good eggs. I don't know. I'm, like, I'm coming around with the eggs, dude. I mean, usually, I don't care. I, like, I like eggs, but I won't go out of my way to make, make or eat eggs. If they're there, they're there. If not, usually, like, it's like, oh, it's just good for, uh fried rice or something. I'm impressed I ate more than I thought I would. <laughs> and the sauce is pretty good today. I'll be honest with you. It'll be very good. Potatoes, whatever. They're kind of bland. They're kind of mesh. But good for breakfast. These are all for my eggs. You. Potato. Oh. Just some straight potatoes I can stay here because I don't care about them. And I'll see you guys later. But thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for hanging out. 